Claire's. Welcome to my channel, Court.is.Claire, and I'm Court.is.Claire. This channel is where I promote the lifestyle of Claire. What's a Claire, you may ask? Claire is a multi-layered female, somewhere between Claire Huxtable and your ratchet best friend. And this channel covers all the aspects in between. Today, this video is about my first impression of Finger Comer's kinky curl-out unit. So if you're interested, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, so let's get into it, honey. So I, listen, my edges were on life support. My natural hair care stylist told me basically I needed to lay off the protective styles. So I was on um, Instagram and I followed this girl. I think her name is D-Lolo and she wears this finger comber unit. Finger, finger comber unit, excuse me. So I said, child, those look real natural, real cute. Let me go ahead and try it out. So that's what I did. So let me just tell you a little bit about the unit. It is a synthetic wig, honey, and it did cost me $88.96 total. Girl, you know my eyes was twitching when I said 96 for a synthetic wig, but it looks super, super cute. So I was like, let me go ahead and try it. Um, it's supposed to give you the natural hair vibes. So yeah, let me talk about the shipping. So it took about three days to get here. And um, it was a fairly easy process and actually I love it because when you go in there to buy the actual unit, they have pictures of the bottom at the bottom of like ways girls styled it and also they have YouTube videos of how to apply it. So I'm not going to be one of those YouTubers who go ahead and put everything on on it because you got to do a little finessing and I ain't there yet. I ain't one who could do the wall on camera. So um yes i'm gonna go ahead and try it on here honey i'm a, i'm rushing through it because i'm headed out for a date night with my boyfriend but i wanted to give you guys my first impression because i'm finna slap this wig on and get on out of here so anywho this is the box that it came in let me open it i'm sorry y'all but i had I don't, all i have right now is my rat tail comb and you gotta use what you got you get what you want okay y'all know who said that so anyway, <laughs> yeah, but no, when I was looking online, like, the, the units look like dumb natural, so, mm. okay, it's like a box and another box, so let me pull it out of here, okay, so, number one, it's hard to get out, the box. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it like this. So this unit says, the Clinky Curl Out Unit is quite simple and easy to care for. For best wishes, results, excuse me, finger comb to detangle, being careful when separating the curls at the tips. In order to avoid fizz, frizz, the unit can be washed and conditioned, but be sure to detangle before doing so. And always allow the unit to air dry completely before wearing, wearing or manipulating it. In order to reboost the textural curl pattern, detangle the unit, braid it tightly into 10 to 15 sections, and add a perm rod to the end of each braid. Run hot water from the tap over the unit and allow it to air dry completely before removing the rods and opening the braids. Finger comb to style and enjoy. And that is the card. And that's the, the unit that I got. This is my unit. Wait a minute now. Hi. Okay. Okay. So where's the bag? So I'm assuming this is the bag and this is the front. So this is the unit. It's pretty. A little thin. Sure. I'm gonna have to let y'all know about this, but this is the unit. Look at the texture though. The texture is there, but it is thin. So I'm gonna go try it on, manipulate it a little bit, and I'll be back. I'm not I don't I don't know what to say. First impressions I'm trying to figure out. 
what I feel because I feel like I don't know which way it goes. But I guess because this the but I would think that this is the front. I don't know. Maybe this is the front. I'm gonna guess this is the front because that's the back. It comes with two combs in the front, in the back, and it has the um the adjustable straps. Alright, y'all. So I'm gonna go. Try this out and see what I come up with. Pray for me. Okay. So, this is the finished product, what I've come up with. I'm trying to, like, finger comb it so it, like, blend in. Okay. So, this is the finished unit, and I really like it. I think it looks really natural, giving you, like, a Donna Summer type vibe. Um... Yeah, I like it. I will order another unit, honey. Let me see if I can get any closer so you can see the texture. Like, it blends well with my natural hair. Cause even like, you see? And so what I did was I um, pinned. Cause I felt like, um, I'm looking in the camera, sorry. So what I did was I, I pinned it because I um, I felt like it was a little too loose. And child, like, mama can't have her wig flying all across the place when I get out in the, ele in the elements. So I had to pin it down. But honey, it's giving me life, baby. I can wear this. And you could do little styles with it. Like, I could have literally had it come up here if I wanted to. But I just left a little bit of leave out just to try to blend it. Just to make sure it looks good. So, for me, I'll say I give a thing come about an old 8. Now, 8 out of 10. This thing is nice. It is a little thin here at the top. It's not as much hair as down here. But I guess that's what gives you the body towards the end. Like, if they had more hair up here, I'm sure it probably would have been, like, crazy big. When I first put it on, I was a little taken aback by how big the hair looked on me. But that's probably because I'm not used to, I'm not used to wearing, sorry y'all, big hairstyles. So, all in all, it was an 8 out of 10. I love it. I'll be buying another one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And most importantly, I love you. But God, he loves you so much more. God bless you.